Now, on. Yes, there you go. Now, the next one. This one gets a little bit more difficult because when we're looking at this, now we're looking at AE or EA, right? And we see that and we say, all right, so this one is less than 180. I, why didn't you write down the last problem? I just gave you the last homework example. No, no, no. I just did that one. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, we're not given what the central angle is. If we look to try to find the central angle, Jake, what you notice is the central angle is x degrees. We don't know that value. They didn't provide it to us. For DC, they gave us that central angle. We know that this is a minor arc, right? It's less than 180. It's a minor arc, so it's equal to the central angle. The problem is we don't know what the central angle is. They didn't provide it to us. So now we need to think about what mathematical Processes can we use to be able to figure this out? Well, hopefully, in the beginning of the year, you guys remember we talked about vertical angles. When you have intersecting lines, opposite angles are congruent. And you guys can see we have, um, that's actually drawn incorrectly. That's supposed to be like this. Sorry. But what you guys can see is we have opposite angles, AC and DB. So therefore, if that's 50 degrees, that has to be 50 degrees. So since x is 50 degrees, this measurement of my minor arc is also 50 degrees. So we had to use vertical angles in this example. It's called a little bit of thinking.